This is the 3D scanning process used for my master's thesis. For this, I used a Polygos scanner and the FlexScan software program. The setup consists of a laptop, a rotary table, and a scanner. Our scanner is the Polygos Compact C210 Structured Light Scanner. Scanning must be done in a room with no overhead lights on and the blinds drawn. Open FlexScan and make sure that the scanner connects. When it's connected, it should flash blue rapidly. Start a new project, name it, and save it to your designated desktop folder. Place the flake in clay to hold it in place. Make sure it is firmly embedded so that it doesn't move. Place clay balls around the flake to help the scanner calibrate the space. Adjust the scanner so that the flake is fully in view in both squares on the right side of the screen. Set the exposure so that the flake is lit up. A little overexposure, shown in red, tends to be better than complete underexposure. Click the rotary tab on the left and click Recalibrate. Select Geometry Align and Continue. The rotary table will now begin moving as the scanner begins to calibrate the space. When it has successfully calibrated and you are happy with your exposure levels, click Scan. The rotary table will rotate at 30 degree intervals while the scanner captures 12 scans. It should align the scans automatically and then combine them into one scan. Use Control, click and drag to select the clay area of the scan in order to delete it. This will cut off some of your flake. Turn the flake over so that the part of it that had been covered in clay is now sitting up top. Rerun the scan process. Remove the part of the scan that is embedded in clay. Rotate and align the scan to a corresponding landmark on the old scan. This does not have to be exact, as the program will fix it for you. Select Mesh Geometry. FlexScan will precisely align the two. After checking that the alignment is correct, select Combine. This will turn the two scans into one. If there are no major holes or gaps in the combined scan, you can select Finalize. Or if you need to, complete an additional scan and combine it to the existing one. Finalize the scan with a setting set to precise merge and hole filling high. Move over from the scan tab to the hole filling tab. Select autofill to fill most holes and then manually fill any remaining holes. This is done by clicking and dragging to build bridges across holes and then clicking fill selected. Once the mesh is watertight, rename it to match the project name, and then save and return from the hole filling tab to the scan tab. Turn on surface texture to double check that it was picked up. Export the scan, and it should automatically export as apply file.